each one down at your feet every moment of my wandering never changes what you see i've tried to win this war i confess my hands are weary i need your rest mighty warrior king of the fight no matter what i face your body Tomorrow brings. It's not a day yet you have not seen. So when all things be my life and bread, I want what you want, Lord, and nothing less. When you don't move the mountains, I'm leading you to move. When you don't part the waters, I wish I could walk. Good morning and welcome to Prayer and Devotion on this Saturday, January 15th. It is good to be with you this morning. Yes, it is a cold morning out there. So uh, holding in prayer, um, especially those who did not have shelter last night um, and those of you that need to trudge out into the cold today, praying that you uh, stay safe. Um, but it's good to be with you today. Uh, it's good to gather this morning. So started off today with Lauren Daigle's uh, Trust in You. We're talking about faith today. Specifically, we're talking uh, and looking at Hebrews 11 verses 1 through 3. So let me say good morning to all of you. Good morning, Priscilla and Daniel. It's good to be with you this day, holding you in prayer. Augusta and Megan, I'm glad you're here holding you in prayer as we start this day together. Good morning, Gail, and good morning, Barbara. I'm glad you're here this morning. I'm glad you enjoyed Splunk Knees Oh My uh, with your conversation. Uh, it's good to have you here holding you both in prayer. Good morning, Renetta, and good morning, Blanca. I'm glad you're here holding you in prayer as we start this day together. Good morning, Michelle and Donna. Welcome. I'm glad you're here holding you in prayer today as well. Good morning, Susan and Esther. Uh, welcome. Uh, holding you in prayer today. And good morning, Minda and Ingrid. I'm glad you're here too. Holding you both in prayer as we start our day together. So today's devotion is entitled, um, Faith is Hard. Faith is Hard. 
Um, and I'm specifically going to be reading from Hebrews 11 verses 1 through 3. So if you want to open up your Bibles, my name is Cindy Stauffer, blessed to serve as a pastor at the United Methodist Church at New Brunswick. And it's good to be able to gather with you each day for this time together. So let's jump in. Uh, Hebrews 11 verses 1 through 3 says this. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. Indeed, by faith, our ancestors received approval. By faith, we understand that the worlds were prepared by the word of God so that what is seen was made from things that are not visible. Now, faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. And here's our devotion. Faith is hard. A man was walking down a narrow path along a steep cliff. He tripped and fell over the side. As he fell, he grabbed onto a small branch sticking out of the side of the cliff. Hanging on for his life, he cried out, is anyone up there? I am here, a voice replied. Who is there? The man asked. It's me, God, the voice answered. Lord, help me, the man squealed. Do you trust me? God asked. I trust you completely, the man said resolutely. Good, God said. Then let go of the branch. What? I said, let go of the branch. Is there anyone else up there? Faith is hard. We hear God's voice in the distance telling us to let go. God will catch us, but that's hard. It's hard to trust completely when we can't see or understand why. Faith is hard when the credit cards pile up. Faith is hard when the doctor tells you that it's cancer. Faith is hard as you watch your child die. We ask ourselves, if God loves me, why is God doing this to me? We think it would be so much easier if we could just see. If only we could see what God's people of the Old Testament saw. They saw the 10 powerful plagues in Egypt. They saw God divide the Red Sea. They saw the glory of God descend on Mount Sinai. Or what about Jesus' disciples? They saw Jesus in the flesh. They saw him walk on water. They saw him feed thousands of people with a couple of loaves of bread and a few small fish. They saw him raise the dead. If only we could see what the people of Israel saw. If only we could see what the disciples saw. It would be so much easier to trust. Then faith wouldn't be so hard. Or would it? Despite all the wonders they saw, the people of Israel constantly complained. They persistently rebelled and continuously rejected. For all the miracles the disciples witnessed, they still ran away at the night he, Jesus was arrested. They still cowered in fear behind locked doors on that first Easter morning evening. Seeing didn't help the Israelites. It didn't help Jesus' disciples, and it wouldn't help us because seeing isn't believing. Believing is seeing. If you are looking for visible evidence or scientific proof, I cannot give it to you. There is no pill which will make um, believing easier. Faith, by definition, is believing in something we cannot see. If it were left up to us, faith would be too hard. We wouldn't be able to let go. We wouldn't trust God. 
But God sends us the Holy Spirit to help us trust. As we hear God's promises and see all the examples in the Bible of God keeping God's promises, the Holy Spirit works in us the faith to trust that what God says is true. If God kept God's promises to Adam and Eve, to Abraham, to Isaac, to Jacob, if God kept his promise to send his son to live and die as our savior, we can trust that God will keep the rest of God's promises as well. Do you find yourself doubting? Do you find yourself worrying? Do you find yourself struggling? We all do at times. At those times, say the prayer a hurting father once hurt uh, once prayed to Jesus, I do believe, help overcome my unbelief. When you struggle with doubt, go back to God's promises. Go back to God's word. See how God always does what God says he'll do. And then let go of the branch. As I read the opening story last night in preparation for today, I was reminded of a time that I was in Israel and we were walking the road. I've only been able to do it once. I don't think they let groups do it anymore. It's a little too dangerous. But we were walking the road, um, Jericho Road, which is a road that um, we read about in the story of the Good Samaritan. Um, it's also the road uh, when Psalm 23 says, even though I walk over the valley of the shadow of death, it is that area where that was that inspired. Uh, so, so basically it's a cliff. <laughs> it's a cliff that you're walking on. And um, I had a chance to walk this, but I walked it with one of my very best friends who's blind, uh, partially blind, so she can see uh, peripherally, but she cannot see in front of her. And um, just the fear of this cliff, because a cliff just dropped off and we were in the wrong place. It was just a nightmare. But she held my hand and all she could see was the drop off because she couldn't see in front of her. She could only see the drop off. The fear that she held as we walked along that um, is just a reminder to me always that even as we walk through places that seem so fearful, like the last thing we want to do is let go. The last thing we want to do is trust. We want to be in control. We want to know what's going to happen. We want to have everything set so there's no chances that things won't go the right way. Um, and when we're in those places, we end up just trusting ourselves, which is never a well, there's times that we need to trust, but I think when we trust our own strength instead of the strength that we receive from God, we end up going down roads we're not supposed to be down. And so when I, whenever I am in this place where I just don't know what's ahead, when I'm so afraid uh, of what's down the path, I am reminded of this time and I'm reminded of my friend and I'm reminded of her faith that allowed her to keep walking and trusting. Can I do that too? To trust when the only thing I see is the cliff? Can I trust that God knows the path ahead? Can I trust that God will walk me through this? That I can let go and trust that God's walking with me? And the same for you. And the same for you. This day, whatever you're walking through, whatever challenges you're facing this day, whatever things um, seem unclear for you, I want to encourage you um, to be reminded that God is with you in the midst of this. You may not see what's ahead, but God does. But God
God does. So I lift each one of you in prayer this day that you will feel God's presence surrounding you, walking with you, encouraging you, nurturing you, filling you with peace, reminding you of your belovedness as you go through this day. Let us pray. God, we come to you today acknowledging that we are often filled with doubts, filled with worry, filled with concern about the path ahead, trying so hard to figure it out ourselves as if that will make everything right. And you call out to us, even as we hang from the cliffs of our lives, and you remind us that you have us. So this day, help us, Lord, to rest in that knowledge. And when possible, to let go and fall into your arms again. Lord, lead us this day as we seek to be more faith-filled. Lead us this day that we might be your faithful disciples, even when we cannot see the path ahead. Lead us this day. We ask all of this in your precious name, Lord Jesus, as together we pray the prayer that you taught your disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So today, as you walk through your day, trust that God is walking with you. Tomorrow, uh, we are starting a new series called Reset, and tomorrow is Soul Reset. So how do we um, get ourselves into a healthier, more deeply connected place as we get, begin the new year ahead? I look forward to being with you tomorrow in worship, uh, whether you are in person or if you are watching with us virtually, uh, we'll be worshiping at 11 tomorrow. So I look forward to seeing you then. Bye, friends. God loves you, and so do I. Have a blessed day.